it's not great. It's mm. not been a great mm. experience for, we were, mm. you know, we were lucky. Hello, uh, this is just a short video because we've, um, we, we've been hearing about problems that people have been having with um, getting tickets via the Fringe website when they're not, they're only there for the day or they're only there for the, say the weekend and they're not aware that, you know, we've obviously recommended in the past that people try and do it, not, you know, don't do it on your phone do it off a laptop before you arrive um, to see shows. But clearly, they, you know, people do just turn up in Edinburgh or they're passing through Edinburgh. Anyway, we've got a little story to tell you about that. So we'll just, we'll, we'll flick over to that now. This is just about, we've had some uh, people who went up to Edinburgh Festival Fringe just for the day, they were passing through Edinburgh and wanted to see some shows. And uh, it's worth, commenting on their rather poor experience mm, mm. Um, they only did get to see one show really it was which was plasters which they saw on our recommendation but you wanted to say a bit more about well they found it incredibly frustrating um, about you trying to use the the fringe app because they yet yeah, they could the, fill sorry it's not an app it's a website oh sorry yeah. the fringe yeah. website i beg your pardon uh, because the app because yeah. there's no app, there's no, there, app, no year, app, and it sadly. was fantastic. Last anyway, year, and it, yeah. it's not there. Two years so ago. sorry, the fringe website. Um, they could filter to one day, that was fine, but they had to go into each show individually yeah. to find if there were um, there were tickets available, um, and there were often it said there were tickets. I mean, not only did they encounter the fact that they couldn't filter which shows had any tickets yeah, left yeah. they then experienced when they picked a show it would actually say initially that there were tickets but then they went into it and tried to book a ticket there weren't any tickets and they really really found it quite frustrating they managed to get the tickets for plasters they then queued for a comedian uh, but they were about tenth in the queue, and they didn't get a ticket. I think they were. They took about four people. They, didn't they? they turned up early for one and show, and then then later they went for a show, um, a late night show, about ten o'clock or something. Yeah, the bouncer yeah. told them to. Oh, you way too early. Yeah, there, it was like an hour before, but they were they were quite happy to go and get a a, a drink, and, and one of them stay in the queue. But the bouncer told them to 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 just not bother and come back. And they didn't get in because they weren't at the beginning of the queue. Yeah, they were had been at the beginning of the so, queue. And clearly, they listened to him um, and they didn't get in. Yeah. So they saw, so they wasted all this time. Which is quite... Yeah, is, you know, and... And we've, well, we have heard of other experiences yeah, that... that yeah. And we know that this year is a, di a difficult year for the Fringe. And every, like we've, as we've said in quite a few of our videos, it seems like we, um, the experience that we had, you know, it's almost like everybody's doing their own thing. Um, but, you know, the Fringe organisation is an overarching organisation. And, you know, the, I think the, half the, the problem is that no, 2019, if there was no, you know, I think, I think it's two thirds of the ticket allocation goes to the Fringe. I think it was like that then. I think it's been the same this year because I read that somewhere. Right. Now, once that allocation is gone, how do you get the tickets? Because venues can't sell you, most venues can't sell you a ticket on the door. Can't say, but they've got their own websites. Websites. But people don't know that. Yeah. 
especially if people are turning up at weekends and on spec for a day. Mm. I mean, we spoke to people when we were actually there who were turning up and we were chatting to people in queues mm. or people were coming while we were in the queues waiting to go in because, and obviously we already had booked tickets, they were coming in and saying, we're here for the day, but we're really struggling to get any tickets. Can you let us know what to do? So I think people doing that, especially at weekends, um, and, there, a, and it was find, busy apparently. Founding, this this yeah, last weekend yeah, was busy. Yeah, you know, um, are finding it really, you know, really difficult. Yeah, um, we're just hearing that story um, repeated. Yeah, and just felt that we were going to say something. Yeah. Okay. So thanks very much for watching. Um, we'll see you in the next video. just to keep telling people I mean obviously the later I mean we're almost at the end now yeah it's um but but it's still <clears throat> worth saying I think. I think it is worth saying because I think it's just you know I mean it's not great it's yeah. not been a great experience for we were yeah. you know we were lucky because we were experienced at doing this yeah. but for for quite a few people that we spoke to it's not a great experience this yeah. year no you know and how, however, how much sympathy we we give to, you know, the whole organisation of this year, mm. you know, the, I think somebody did drop the ball somewhere. Mm. I found the website really frustrating, booking things, mm. you know, um, and having to, like Josh said, having to go into everything, you mm. know, mm. individually. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Good okay. old. <clears throat>